Now, last week, we told you the emotional story about a little boy who contracted a case of meningitis four years old. He didn't make it. Mason Sturms died last month. Doctors first diagnosed him with strep throat, but days later, his condition worsened, and a trip to the ER revealed that he was indeed fighting the infection. In the weeks leading up to his death, Mason had been saving money to buy toys for children who don't have any. You know, he, he was mindful that Christmas is around the corner. Now his family says this act of selflessness inspired them to create superheroes for Mason. Joining me now, Mason's parents, Aaron and Ralph Sturms, to talk about well, carrying on Mason's work. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. And, you know, you certainly have our sympathies in our heart. I can't imagine losing a child because it's only been a month. But in some ways, Aaron, this has to be cathartic for you because this was a passion for your little boy and it's something that he wanted. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just really been a lot of joy to us to know that we're going to be able to continue on with his mission. And each time that we're able to give a toy to another child, we'll always remember him and continue on with his spirit. And, and you know, Ralph, when you think of four-year-olds, the typical four-year-old is, you know, when I go to the store, I want you to buy me a toy. But your little boy was more concerned about other people. And that says a lot about him. And it says a lot about, you know, what type of parents that you are. Um, you probably feel Mason is with us right now. So what would his message be? You know, it's not always about yourself. Um, if you can put a smile on someone else's face, I think that makes the biggest difference. Um, every morning he would talk to Aaron's mother and she would always ask him, Mason, what are you going to do today? He said, smile at everyone. Um, so he's smiling down. I think if one little act of kindness can give someone hope and bring some more light to another person, I think that does enough. Yeah. You know, we live in a day and age where there seems to be a general lack of civility. And it's so nice that there are people that are trying to make a positive difference in other people's lives. So tell us about what your mission is here, Erin. Yeah, we just want to be able to, you know, collect those toys that he was saving his change for, to be able to give them to children that are sick or children that are in need, just to continue with that and continue with that positivity. Mm -hmm. And how are they going to be distributed? Um, so different places have different restrictions, um, like the hospital will actually just drop them off in bulk. Um, but we plan on setting something up for some of the other children's homes where we actually be able to deliver them ourselves. And, you know, our goal is to put a little note on there, a message from Mason to them to, we'll, we'll make a difference to hopefully make an impact in a positive way for them. I, I can't imagine how difficult Christmas is going to be this year. Is this going to ease the pain a little bit? Absolutely. I think that each time that we're able to pass that on, then we'll be able to just have that joy in our hearts and knowing that, that we're doing something good and it's really about the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. and, and you feel like Mason is right here, don't you? All the time. I, I talk to him on a daily basis and, you know, I, maybe it's me just thinking out loud, but hopefully he's hearing me and guiding me in the right direction that, you know, he's going to keep both of us safe and watch over his, his little brother. It's not just voices in your head. <laughs> I've, I've had, s there have been some experiences that I believe. Yeah. So here's how you can help. You can donate to Superheroes for Mason by dropping off toys at Southside United Methodist Church on Hendricks Avenue. You'll find all the information for donating on our website, newsforjacks.com.